Singapore is making strides on the international fashion stage. Local fashion veteran Daniel Boy and show director David C. recently collaborated with international brand Louis Vuitton. They choreographed and directed its spin-off show that took place in Singapore earlier this week. It's the first fully-fledged physical fashion show here since the pandemic. Digital elements were also injected into the show with green screens playing a major role. Well, for more, the two gentlemen join us now live. David, what was it like working with an international brand on a show of this nature and of this scale as well, especially since it comes during the pandemic? Hi, hi good evening. Um, when we were first informed by Louis Vuitton of their plans to hold an international fashion show in Singapore, uh, we were thrilled by their courage and their, and their conviction um, because, you know, this is obviously a very strong resounding endorsement of Singapore on several levels. So firstly, you know, the endorsement of our government's handling, <clears throat> excuse me, of the pandemic. Um, secondly, that despite our small population and market size, that we're still a very key market even without tourists. So I think in the normal course of things, um, when an international show like this happens, it requires a very detailed ongoing dialogue between the brand, um, the brand teams and our team. And because we've had more than a decade of working relationship with Louis Vuitton, um, they really trusted us that we knew the level of quality needed. And working very closely with the Louis Vuitton Paris and Singapore teams, we we really set out to produce and execute um, Nicolas Jasquier's um, creative vision of this entire green screen studio in the basement two of the ASM, so that we could en ensure you know a consistency of the vision at every level. There's, there was also a lot of emphasis on ensuring that there were safety measures taken to adhere to the government regulations. With the additional challenge of not being able to travel, you know, the Paris team couldn't come. But because of our long-standing relationship with them, they knew that and they trusted us to be able to execute this event uh, to the standards that they needed. So if anything, this, pro this project, this event, um, it really shows that we can hold international events safely in Singapore with sufficient planning, resources, time, and of course, with the government support. Yeah, the imagery we're seeing on our screens is quite striking. Uh, Daniel, you've also worked with a slate of other international brands as well. What is the key takeaway that you got from this collaboration? Well, the one thing I, I learned is that we're all in the same boat together. And no matter how many years of experience we've got, we're all learning how to cope with the pandemic. And, and creatives are just finding new ways of, of dealing with the restrictions. But um, creatives being creatives, the more restrictions you throw on us, the more creative we get and the more we find ways of, 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 uh, of steering around um, these restrictions to create even more fantastic ideas. For example, uh, Louis Vuitton, you know, the, the idea of a green screen is, is not a new idea, but the fact that they have, they have taken it to the next level and created um, such an extravaganza means that um, this would not have happened if not for the pandemic. So I think we're all really in the same boat. And um, to, to direct a show Virtually, literally, um, this entire show was created with the Paris team via Zoom all the way. It was, uh, it's, it's something completely new, but it's something that we have all very quickly gotten, um, gotten used to. And uh, I think it's, it's a great way to work. You know, I mean, it's not the most ideal way, but we have found ways to make it work because we're all creatives. <laughs> mm. Well, exactly, Daniel. And tell us something yeah. about that creative process because. You know, it, it, creativity is a collaborative effort, and especially for a project like this. What did the Singaporeans on the team bring to the table here? A and also, you know, uh, to the point of what David was saying, what does it mean about what Singapore can do with such an event like this? I think the event that we, we stage has proven that Singaporeans do have the talent that can pull off uh, world-class events uh, of a world-class standard and, and to be able to work with, with international brands remotely and still be able to, to achieve that kind of level. You know, as, as David correctly mentioned, we all have a, a very long-standing relationship with these brands and the fact that they've trusted us to be able to, to pull off a show like that Everything from production to technical to even the casting, um, everything was done remotely. So we, it shows that we do have the talent uh, to create world-class events. And um, 
and uh, you know work within the restrictions. There are, there are a lot of restrictions, uh, safety measures, and all that, and yet we still manage to to work around them to create something that that we can be really really proud of. Shows that we have the capability and we are ready to stage um, other world class events. Yes, and hopefully it will inspire others as well to follow in your footsteps. So, uh, David, what's your advice then for those who want to follow and to work? with international brands, are there skills they should be focusing on? Yeah, well, you know, Singapore or Singaporeans have always had a reputation of being able to punch above our weight, you know, given that we have a, we've got a very small population and obviously a smaller talent pool. So um, if you want to come into this industry, obviously creativity, as Daniel said, is very important. Creativity, not just in terms of concepts, but also in terms of being resourceful and being able to problem solve. I think that's really important. Um, you need to be prepared to work hard because to be able to have that chemistry and trust and relationship with brands, it needs time um, to be built. And of course, you know, to understand what brands want and what their consumers or their, their customers want is also really, really important in order for us to be able to work well with international brands. And I think I, I also have to add on a final note that technology is a very key part of what we do now to be able to use technology to give us an edge. Um, in the work that we do. Well, Daniel and David, thanks so much for spending some time with us this evening and talking to us. So we've been speaking with fashion veteran Daniel Boy and show director David C.